God's Invitation to God Writing Heaven Letter Number 5699 July 2, 2016 Whether I have or have not told you before about your possible reluctance in hearing what I whisper to you, the fact is that I sing to you and everyone all the time. This is the meaning of omnipresence. I sing to you and spin a world and you into existence through my consciousness of love which is to say our oneness. I speak to all, not just a few who are esteemed. Only in the world is anyone considered a cut or two above anyone else. You must know that judgment is not my way of thinking. Judgment tires out everyone. I love and welcome every single one of my children. I leave no one out. Therefore, I am never tired. There is a vibration I strum through the universe. From my vibration of love, a sense of my meaning reaches you, possibly an image of what I sing of thee to you that you can pick up at any moment. I am not philosophy. I am real. If I speak or sing to anyone, it is of thee, I sing. Hearing what I communicate to you is a natural event. It does not take training. If it takes anything, it takes daring. You see hearing me as a far-off thing. You may never have considered it possible let alone likely. Once again, consider the possibility, for this possibility is a certainty. Here's one way for you to begin, and this is to write to me. I suggest writing to me because you can also read your words. When you write down, Dear God, this is you speaking, and you pour out your heart to me. It doesn't matter where your heart turns out to be at this moment. Wherever you are, whatever you think of yourself or don't think of yourself, you are coming closer to me, even when this may seem impossible to you or even contrary to your will. You are on your way to me. You may skirt the possibility, yet even unwillingly, you can only be coming closer to me. Regardless of whatever grudges you may hold about me, you are making your way to me. I am already as close to you as close can be. It is for you to approach me. I am not missing. You have been standoffish, perhaps aloof, distancing yourself from me because of shyness and unspoken apprehensions. You don't want to be overwhelmed. You don't want to be kidnapped. You may fear that your world will turn topsy-turvy and you will be demolished. You may feel more important the way you appear right now. You fear letting go of yourself as though you will lose yourself. You will not lose yourself. You will find yourself. This pace up of you that you carry around never was your identity. Your present identity is a mock-up, a costume you picked up at the Goodwill or Salvation Army. You may even have picked up a costume of good guy when inside you seethe. There are no limits to the costumes you find. In terms of our communication, None of this matters. A disguise can only be a disguise. No once and for all, you don't have to be a saint in the world's view or your own view to hear me as close as a bell right within your own heart and ears. All the power that is within me is within you. You are a gold mine of consciousness. You may pull on that mask and wear a veil of forgetfulness with determination, yet I never forget you. I echo to you unto infinity. You may be so caught up in a spider web of the world that you may distract yourself from me. Allow the possibility that I am listening to you now, yes, you, right now. Wherever you may reach or not reach in the ordinary world, I am reachable to you. I am not even across the aisle from you. Anyway, I suggest you write to me. You may be surprised at what you say. Let writing to me be something you do every day like combing your hair. You don't expect miracles when you comb your hair every day. In writing to me from your heart, what you are doing is introducing yourself to you. Nothing has to come from this writing. Nothing has to happen. You are not making demands. You are simply keeping in touch with yourself. You may not have known all that you care about. I already know you. You are writing and revealing yourself to you. Yet I will hear you. I listen to your heartbeat. Say whatever occurs to you. What you are doing is opening your heart. You are turning the key to your own heart. Begin with dear God, and use a complimentary closing such as love, 
and, of course, your name. In this way, you embrace me and clarify that it is you who is writing to me. You are listening to yourself. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org